welcome back. Every time I make a video mentioning Recomp, someone pops up in the comments to say, what about the JS compressors, like the 1175? In truth, I've been a little reluctant to talk about the 1175, because I have an issue with it that's so major, I can't help feeling I must have made a mistake. It occurred to me that maybe by importing my preferences into every new Reaper installation, I had somehow ended up with an old, out-of-date version. But I've checked a vanilla Reaper install, and that doesn't seem to be the case. Nevertheless, part of me still thinks I'm going to end up deleting this video in embarrassment when I realise I've done something silly. Anyway, there are a few eyebrow-raising aspects for a plugin that's obviously inviting comparisons with an 1176. Like the threshold slider, for example, instead of an input gain and a fixed threshold. Well, I don't care about that. But given that's the case, I can't help wondering why the gain slider needs to go to negative values. Surely, positive only would make more sense. He does get brownie points for correctly implementing the dry-wet mix slider, however, so that the gain doesn't affect the dry part of the mix. It really annoys me when that's the other way around. We also have attack and release controls that work the conventional way, instead of getting faster as you turn them up higher. Honestly though, I don't care about any of that if it sounds right. So let's go with the 4 to 1 ratio, which is how I mostly use FET style compressors and dial in some squash. Does anyone else think that's a bit, um, brutal? Now the input signal is peaking at around minus five dB-ish. When I set the threshold just below that, we see the gain reduction just peeping in. So that seems in order. But with the threshold down at about minus 15, we're getting 15 dB of gain reduction, according to the meters at least. And my ears aren't inclined to disagree. Even with a hard limiter, setting the threshold 10 dB below the peaks should give 10 dB of gain reduction, not 15 dB. What I'm trying to say is, if this is a 4 to 1 ratio, then I'm a cheese toasty. Let's try the other ratio settings. Sure enough, they all get progressively more extreme. 20 to 1 smashes the signal even harder than 4 to 1. But none of them sound even remotely as I'd expect. OK, given how extreme the 20 to 1 setting is, all buttons in is going to be brutal, right? Are you ready for this? Brace yourselves. Well, that was a bit of a letdown. Let's just assume he forgot to implement that feature. For those in any doubt, all buttons in behavior being accessed via the ratio buttons is just an accidental quirk of the original hardware. Pressing all the ratio buttons in at once doesn't actually change the ratio much. You end up with roughly 12 to one again, but it dramatically changes the attack and release behavior. Maybe one day someone will make a FET style compressor plugin that separates the all buttons in option from the ratio controls and groups it correctly with the attack and release controls. And then we could still choose different ratios even in all buttons in mode. But I digress. I don't care that much about the all option as that's an occasional special effect. But the four to one ratio of a FET compressor should be a staple mixing tool. And this is not that as it stands. So let's have a look at the code and see if we can fix it. Now at this point, if you're following along, you should probably create a copy of the JS file instead of editing the original. I actually don't know how to do that from within the plugin, which mildly irritates me every time. Maybe someone can drop a hint in the comments. But you can open it up in an external editor. Don't forget to edit the description, as this is how Reaper will identify it in the plugin list. Then save as, and load your copy instead. However, I know for a fact that I've never used the 1175 in anything that matters, so I'm just going to go ahead and edit the code. Live dangerously, I say. OK, I'll confess that I don't know what most of this code is doing, and haven't attempted to decipher it. 
But there is a line down here somewhere that I think I understand. GR stands for gain reduction, is my guess. Over dB sounds like that could be the amount by which the signal is over the threshold. And this is being multiplied by a value derived from variables that contain the word ratio. So if C ratio is 1, the top half of this fraction will be 0, so gain reduction will end up 0, which means a ratio of 1 to 1. But if the result of this division were to be 1, the gain reduction would be equal to the amount we're over the threshold, which would give us a limiter of infinity to 1. Now I have a hunch, based on guesswork and my own dabblings in compressor design, that this fraction is ending up exactly twice as big as it should be. If I'm correct, then the mistake is almost certainly up here somewhere, in the code that I don't understand, and quite frankly can't be bothered to try to decipher. So what I'm about to do should be considered a dirty hack. Let's just double the size of the bottom half of this fraction. Now when I hit save, we should immediately hear a change in the sound. And sure enough, that sounds like a compressor now. I can dig down much deeper with the threshold than I could before. And I can really shape the groove with the release slider. Now you know me, I'm not going to be satisfied with guesswork and hunches. Let's have some hard graphs from Plugin Doctor. Here's the original code, doing what it claims is 4 to 1 compression. So I might be a fool, but at least I'm not a toasty. Here's what we get with my code hack. That looks a lot more like it. However, the higher ratios still seem a bit high to me. 20 to 1 looks very much like a hard limiter. So I loaded up the FabFilter compressor to compare, and sure enough, the ratios were all still too high. Changing our hack to multiply it by 2.1 instead of 2 fixes that issue, and the ratios are now all pretty much exactly what they claim to be. It means my hunch was wrong, but whatever, it does the job. So here's how it sounds with a correct 4 to 1 ratio. And I like it, this is actually useful. Notice how the compression brings out the melody in this drum loop. Do you hear that? I mean, it's still kind of there in the dry version. But it really pops out with the compression. Let's roll with that. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.